Hi, welcome to this series on collection in Power Apps. In part one of the series, I introduced you to this concept called collection in Power Apps, told you that it's very similar to tables in any data source like database, like SharePoint, uh, Dataverse or Common Data Service, uh, but there's one difference that it's very temporary. And I also talked about some use cases where you may want to think about using collection. In this video, uh, I'm going to start showing you some of the mechanics. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a collection and how to show the values in gallery control of your Power Apps. So the best way to do that is by looking at an example. Uh, so let's, uh, let's look at an example where Imagine that you have to create a very simple collection like shown below. So employee table, employees table, which has two columns, and I'm speaking the language of table because that's how I think about collection. So employees table having two columns, ID and full name. And just for simplicity's sake, let's say this collection has only two records, uh, one and two, and you see the full name here. So how we will implement that? Let me first talk to you about the concept and then I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so one is the syntax. Uh, we will use a function called collect. So what does that collect mean? Collect means that you, in a collection, you start collecting the items. So think about this as you have a bucket, call it collection, and you just start putting items one by one whatever you collect in that bucket, in that data source, in that collection, is what will be contained in that collection. So data source is pretty much the collection and items are one by one that you add to it. So here's an example and this is how we will implement it. We will say collect. We will give the name of the collection, employees. Uh, so it will, uh, we don't have to do anything separate to create the collection this collect employees will just create the collection. And then you see that I have put two records here. First record, it has curly braces. Within curly braces, you put all the column names separated by comma. So for example, since in our example, we have to put a table with two columns, we will say first record, first item that we're going to collect in this collection is this which has id1 and full name richard back id2 this is the second record id2 and full name emily beth and that's it so just to again uh, explain it again collect function the first parameter is your data source which is pretty much the collection for now and then you can put as many items as you want so since we are putting only two items, we'll say first item is this within curly braces, the syntax that you follow. If you're familiar with a JSON format or something, it's very similar. Within curly braces, you put the field name, column, colon, the value and comma, and that's how you keep adding the columns. If you want to add more record, just put a comma and put one more record in the same format. One thing you will notice that for full name, I also put one single quote. The reason is I wanted to show you if you have space in your field name, you can do that. But in this case, you have to put a single quote. For this column name where there's no space, I did not have to do that. So it's it's very simple concept like that. Now let me show you in action. So here's an app which is totally blank canvas app. And first thing I will do to show this is I'll add a button control. You don't need a button control for creating collection, but with button control, it becomes easy for us to see because you, you have to create this collection. You have to call this function collect at some event. And the simplest thing to do is say, when the user clicks on this button, then call this function. So that's what I'm going to do. But you don't have to have the button. You can put that in the start of the app. You can put that in the on visible of the screen. 
I know I'm talking about some concepts of Power Apps, which I'm not covering in detail here. If you want to learn about more concepts like that, uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll keep covering all those basic concepts here about Power Apps. So this button, just for uh, making it slightly more understandable, I'll uh, change the display text that I show here for the button. So I'll say, collect employee uh, data. And on the on select of this, I'm going to just use the syntax that I mentioned here. I'll just write this. So let me type it here so that you can also see the hint that Power Apps gives you. So I'll just say collect and you will see that as you say collect, uh, you will this see this function in the drop down. You'll also see some help text on this. So I'll just select this collect. And now it's also giving me some hint on the same syntax that I showed you, name of the collection. So we are deciding the name of the collection as employees. You can choose any name and it will just create the collection. So those who are coming from programming background, in Power Apps, you don't have to really declare a variable. When you start using it, it gets declared. Now, uh, I can start typing item here, but just for readability, I'm just going to put one new line here and put the first record, which is ID one and we said full name and I'm putting single quotes because it has spaces and I'll put the value which was Richard back. Okay and I could have ended this here in that case this collect will just collect one record but since in this example we have to put two so I'm going to put one more item here and sorry sometimes I say record for the item because that's what it is essentially in the table world in the database world we also call it record so i just copied pasted and second record i changed the id and i'll just change the full name and that's all i have to do uh, my code for that is ready i'm going to close this so once you do this uh, you can see that this collection is created here and the way to uh, trigger this action, trigger this collect function invocation, the two ways, one way which is what I'm used to, is I'll do this preview of the app and click on this. Now when I go back, you will see that this collection is created. Now this collection is created, but how do you see it? I will put the gallery control uh, like the requirement in that example. But let me also tell you an easy way to see the value of your collection. Go to view and you'll see an option for collections here. Click on collections. And that's it. This collection is now created and you also see the value. And you can see that this value is shown to you in tabular format. This is very handy tool that Power Apps has given us for us to just try out few things, debug in case you see some problem in the collection. But now for our app to make it more uh, clear, I will show that in a gallery control. And if you're not familiar with gallery control, it will be obvious when I use it. But for if you want to learn more uh, in, in this channel, I will uh, keep giving more information on gallery. We already have some videos on gallery. All right, so I will go back to insert gallery and there are many options here i will choose this so for now it will just insert a gallery control in the power apps and you will see that it's inserting with some sample value with some image which is good i mean it's giving us some starting point that we can modify now we want this gallery control to be hooked to the collection that we just created so how do we do that ideally what i want to do is show the name of the employee here and ID here. And there's no image because for this collection, for simplicity sake, we are not putting any image, although you could. And in future, we can also show some example there. So before I do that, I have to get rid of this image. And there's a simple way to do that. You see on the right side for this gallery, there are different properties. 
one of the property is called layout. So I'll choose layout and I'll see which one I like it. For this one, I like this one because I have title and subtitle requirement. So I'll just select this. Now Power Apps will intelligently change it. Now the next thing that I have to do is I will change the data source. So data source of this could be any table. In this case, the collection that we just created employees, I'm just selecting that. And that's it. Now Power Apps is intelligently determining, oh, so employees is my data source. So I have to hook this gallery to the data in this table. And it's just making some decision on what would be good fields to show. It's not exactly what we wanted, but still it has given us some starting point and which is what I love about Power App. Now, I will leave this first one as it is, but for you to know, uh, this shows that it has one text and the text value of that is this item. This item means the, the data source of uh, this gallery and the record of that and dot full name. That means full name is the column name of the table. Other way to do that is look at this gallery and you see fields property here, click on edit and you will see that full name and full name is there. I can easily go back here and change it to ID. Uh, sorry, I meant to do the other way. Keep this full name here and subtitle should be ID. And that's it. I'm done with implementing that example. I know this is not a tutorial on gallery, but you might know that if you happen to have multiple columns you, and if you want to show multiple columns in gallery, you can easily add some other control within the gallery and show other fields as well. So creating a collection and showing that in the gallery or seeing the value through this option of view collection is very simple. So going back to the presentation, this is how we implemented it. And this is how we showed that in the gallery. Select the data source for the gallery control and set the fields. And that's it. This is as simple as that. Now here is a homework for you. Hopefully you have now understood how to create a collection. So this should be a very simple homework for you. But if you want to exercise uh, something on your own, here's an extension of the same employees table. So this time for your homework, create an employees collection with these four columns. ID is the same as last time, but now I have broken full name into two columns called first name and last name and email. And so create a Power Apps simple app, create this collection, put the data and show that in Power Apps gallery. Uh, we'd love to see what you create. Uh, this, is, this should be a great simple exercise for you. All right, now here's a pop quiz for you. Uh, what happens if collect function is called more than once? So if you do this exercise yourself, you can try it yourself by clicking on the button again and see what happens. Uh, you'll have your answer when you try it. Uh, also another hint, uh, this collect function will do something which I will cover in the next video in this series. And that part will dovetail very nicely into the concept that I'll cover in the next video. So that's a hint. Now here's a uh, topic for the next video. So that should make it more clear what collect will do for you if you click it twice. Uh, in the next video, I'll cover another important concept of collection. And I tend to use this more than collect. This is called clear collect. What essentially it does, it clears and collects value in a collection. So we'll cover more details about that in the next video. Hope you like this. If you want to stay in touch with us, there are many ways you can. Uh, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also write some articles in Medium, cloudatica.medium.com or medium.com slash at cloudatica. If you're interested in subscribing to our newsletter, getting help on training or coaching, email us at hello at cloudatica.com or visit our website cloudatica.com. Thank you. Have a great day.